What's up guys and welcome back to Surgeon Simulator! It's been such a long time since we played this game, but it was always one of my favorite games to play and to record. Every episode that I've done of this game I'm incredibly proud of. They're always so much fun to just sit down and do something silly. So I realized that we actually have a couple of surgeries we haven't done yet. We did all the main operations, but there's an ambulance operations that we can do. And I have no, like, I, I assume that we're going to be in the back of an ambulance. I, I clicked on it to see if it would work, but I haven't actually sat through. Yeah, we are in the back of an ambulance. This should be interesting. Oh, God, is Karen driving? I think we will learn quickly whether or not Karen is driving. Yup, Karen's driving. Can you close the door, Karen? Okay, this, I think this is just a regular heart transplant, right? This should be, oh, my God, no, the heart. Oh my god, this is this is a whole new level of ridiculous. So we're just gonna put this back there. We need to get through this. Oh, my wife's watch. I can't believe the door. No, I need this stuff. What is going on? Oh, we got everything back here. It's like the whole... Oh, this is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> That's the one thing I love about this game. Everything that happens in it just makes me laugh so much. It is so ri ridiculous. I'm gonna have to get that out of there somehow. Oh, wait, this was always a bad idea, wasn't it? This always does a really crappy job. Okay, you know what? Out the door with you. Did we actually lose stuff? That is gone. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Karen, will you drive straight? God damn it. How did she end up getting this job? No, oh, I need to keep an eye on the heart. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. Is there a way to close the doors? He says as the doors close. Okay, this is this is good. This is our moment. This is our moment! Oh god, how do we... Achievement unlocked hammer time. 25,000 hammer damage, apparently. Okay, <laughs> that's new. So can we just get this stuff off? Like, it's just a simple heart surgery. This was the very first one that we had done. Like, a long time ago. It's the exact same thing. We just gotta get that heart in there. We're seasoned veterans. Just, this guy can't wait. This asshole can't wait to get to the... freaking hospital. Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, sure, fire extinguisher in the back of an ambulance. What? Can you get out of here? Get... Get out of here. There we go, gone. <laughs> okay, I, I can only imagine, like, if we lose the heart, the heart, okay. If we lose the heart, is it just, is it just game over? I feel like it's just game over. He is, oh no, he's losing a lot of blood. Where is... Where is the mint? It is gone, the mint's gone. So we need to actually, there we go. We need to hurry up because <laughs> this isn't going according to plan. We can, we can do this. We can do this, right? Right, Steve? Right, Steve? This is your third heart transplant. Steve, this shouldn't be any problem at all. Most people have to wait a lifetime just to get one. Oh God, can we just, can we just not swerve in traffic? Jesus. We are not. Oh, I can't. I can't. I can't get a scalpel. I can't get my hands on a single scalpel that's facing the right way. Is this... Okay, we're gonna go for that. Oh, there's the blue. We don't want the blue. We don't want the bone chips either. Oh my god. Oh wait. This one might... This one might do. God damn it. Sounds like she's slowing down. Oh my god, she sounds like she almost just hit somebody. Okay, can we can we flip it over? Just I need it facing the right way so I can actually there. There we go. There we go. That's the ticket, right? Right? Who puts a clock radio in the back of an ambulance? Uh <laughs> I don't I don't think we're gonna make it, people. I don't think we're going to make it. Okay, you know what? We're just going to give him a eulogy. Steve, I'm sorry. This, there was nothing that we could do. The clock radio, take it in peace. And, uh, and good luck. Crap. Okay, no messing around this time. We are not going to fuck this up on Steve number two, okay? You know what? Because this wasn't Steve number one's fault. This was all Karen's fault. She wouldn't hold still in traffic. Now we know what we're doing. I'm just gonna get rid of my watch. Come on. Look, did you see? <laughs> did you see all the scalpels? They did a jump, but they're all still facing the right way, and that is that's exactly what I need. I need them facing that way. 
I almost want to get rid of all this crap next to the heart because I have a feeling if it gets like bumped out the window or out the, not out the window, out the door, I'm screwed. I still don't see the green syringe, but you know what? We're not, we're not even gonna try for it. Oh my God, please, please just give me one scalpel that can cut through anything. Just, just one, just that one, it's gone. And the other ones are facing the wrong way. Are you kidding me? You know what, we need, we need this one. We need, we need it, it is inside him. It's inside him now, it's gone, it's gone forever, it teleported. There, there, no clock radio. Okay, this one's good, this one's good. This, this one's good, this one looks like a box cutter, but that's okay, that's okay. We just need to get our stupid little hands on it. Yeah, we didn't remove the lungs. I forgot to remove the lungs, that's okay. That's okay, you know what, we can do this first. Right? We can just wedge it in there. Oh, God damn it. Karen, will you stop swerving? What is all this? Oh my God. Is the heart even still here? I think it's under there somewhere. We're just gonna progress forward as if, as if everything is okay. Where did my scalpel go? I removed the lungs, where's this, where's my scalpel? Stop swerving, Karen, I swear to Christ. Like you physically just cannot get a scalpel that cuts through something to face the right way, because now it's facing my wrist, and I can't, I can't do anything. Crap! <sighs> okay, so you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna take a similar approach to what we did with uh, with the other one. We are gonna get rid of all of this crap that isn't necessary. So the first thing we're gonna do is, there we go, There, here it comes. We're gonna get rid of all this crap. We don't need a fire extinguisher. We know we're not gonna need a fire extinguisher. So we're gonna take the fire extinguisher and we're gonna throw it, if a fire breaks out, you know what? Oh, that'll be my bad. Really? Okay, fire extinguisher is gone. It has been ejected and we are gonna get rid of that. We are gonna get rid of that. See, you need to have a clean workspace. We did this the last time, and it worked much better. Watch, you know what? That would not lead to a clean workspace. Oxygen, he's not breathing anymore. Okay, so now that we're cleaned up a little bit, you know what, we're gonna get rid of this too, because this is just gonna make the heart jump around. There is the syringe, right there. We're gonna remember that. God, every time something jumps, my heart just, <laughs> my heart jumps, <laughs> just like his. Okay, just scalpels, can you not, can you just, can you just not? Lung, piss cup, piss cup, can you? Okay, piss cup's gone. You know what, if we need to take a piss, we're just gonna have to hold it. So if I could just get my hands on these stupid little lungs. Mike is driving in the car behind us, he's gonna pick up all this stuff afterwards. He's still, uh, he's still on the job. He was the one to remove the skin, the chest. Just like last time, nothing's changed. We're just a mobile operation now. Okay. Oh, oh, scalpel. Oh my God, this is actually happening and he's not even bleeding out his face. Okay, so if we can just make the right snippy snippies like that one and that one, yup, that's what we need. Oh, I needed that again. I need that again. I forgot I need to cut the heart out. Can we get this thing again? Goodbye. Where's that? Yes, 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 yes. Give it to me. Give it, give it to, give him mint. He needs, yes, the mint. Okay, excellent. Heart, stay. Third time's a charm, you know what? Just gotta jam around in there until the heart's loose. Come on, where, where is it? There it is, there it is, there it is, okay. Bleeding just a little bit. Just a little bit. But if we could just get this heart out of him. Is it still connected? I can't tell. Is it? Is it out yet? It's out. It has to be out. It's juggling around. Okay, we can do this. We can, we can't do this. Where's the mint? Okay. And we're just, oh my God. Okay. 
Can no, 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 no radio. That radio just made him bleed. The radio just made him bleed again. If I could just get this freaking heart. Oh my God, like I'm literally grabbing it and it's not getting out. I can't use a tool because it'll kill him. Oh, come on, man. Okay, you know what? We're gonna put this heart in him. Maybe we don't need, maybe we don't need to take the old heart out. Maybe we can just do this. Nope, that didn't work. Just give me the, I'm literally grabbing it. Yes, it worked. <laughs> Thank you, Karen. Finally, you were useful for something. Oh God, that is the first operation I've done in this game where I have felt genuinely stressed. No matter what you do, you have everything under control. There are so many things going on that's out of your control. Things hitting your patient and making them bleed or losing things that you really need for the operation. Karen, I swear to God, not now. Did they update the game? I don't remember somebody actually being on the phone. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm not even gonna look into it. You know what? I am Nigel. I am on a lot of drugs because I'm stressed out because I have to work in these shitty working conditions. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. So let's just sit down on the bed and you can tell me where the mean man touched you. He was about this tall. He had one eye, two hands. Sounds about right, follows everything I've gotten so far. Hello again, Emma, this is Strictly Business. 